What's going on everybody, it's XAB here, and I'm going to start doing uh, this a little bit more. I'm going to be covering the patch notes for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, even though it seemed right to have Advanced Warfare footage in this video, I, you know, with all the hype of Black Ops you're going on, I just thought it'd be cool to throw in a little Black Ops 2 footage. If you're feeling generous, go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to know when I upload more videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't seen the Black Ops 3 reveal video, I'm going to have a link to that in the description below. It's going to take you directly to Call of Duty's uh, channel, so if you want to go ahead and subscribe to them too, that'd be great. Alright guys, so this wasn't really a big update, it only had a few weapon tweaks and uh, a few spawn changes, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to cover them anyway. We're going to start it off first with the weapon updates, I'm going to show a little screenshot of what the patch notes say, and I'm going to read it to you guys. It looks like they increased the headshot damage multiplier for the best gun in the game, the MK14. <laughs> okay, I'm not funny, I'll stop. And they reduced the magazine size for the ASM1. Now I feel like this is going to really change the way the speakeasy works because of its extended mags attachment and uh, how powerful the gun is because it freaking melts like a two shot from any range. But um, people, you know, less ammo is going to drastically change the way people are going to be able to get feeds and stuff like that. Moving along, it seems like they decreased the initial recoil and increased the aim down the sights time for the Pytech, the LMG in Advanced Warfare. Kind of weird how they would fiddle with the Pytech's recoil because it already has like none. If you use the gun, you know that after a while, uh, after you start shooting, the recoil just totally decreases. It's cool to see them increase the headshot damage multiplier and decrease the head heat buildup when firing the EPM3 because uh, it kind of shows that they're paying attention to other weapons and giving people a chance to use, uh, you know, a different variety. Okay guys, that's it for the weapons, now we're going to go ahead and move on to score streaks. It doesn't look like they changed much for the score streaks, they just uh, fixed a couple glitches with the aerial attack drone as well as the goliath animation. And they finally patched the glitch where you could become invincible after calling in a goliath. If you didn't know about the goliath glitch, you could call in a goliath and then when you'd enter it, you change your class three times. Then you would, this would only work in round based game modes like domination or search and destroy uplink. And you would basically become invincible. Nobody could kill you, but you could kill them. And it was basically, on, on your screen, it would look like you were in a Goliath. You were walking super slow. You couldn't jump or anything like that, but you had your gun out and you could shoot. Next up, we're going to be going on to game mode changes. It appears to be they changed several spawning logic uh, locations for domination, momentum, capture the flag, hardpoint, and uplink, along with fixing an issue where players were able to enter a free-for-all match while using split screen. Come on boosters, let's not do that crap. A grappling glitch was a patch, I guess, where you could grapple onto glass without breaking them. I don't know why that's so important. Um, fix the rare issue in gun rank or gun game from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, where players, if they got a multi-kill, for example, if someone shot a rocket through a door and they got more than one kill, it would rank, um, let's, for, let's say you got two kills, you would you would rank up two guns higher than what you currently had instead of only going up one gun. And finally, they fixed an issue where the contested and taking notifications were displaying incorrectly in domination. Alrighty, righty, righty, guys. That looks like it's it for this episode of Patch Notes and Call of Duty Advance were here April 27th. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to start doing these a lot more. So if you want to know when I upload these videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be putting them in a playlist on my channel so they're all organized and everything like that. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name's X Saber, and I'm out.